Ooh, it's super sunny. That means the lighting's gonna be really bad when I sit down. Oh well. I like the sunshine. Who doesn't like sunshine? <laughs> I recorded this whole thing and I forgot to turn my microphone on again. I will never, I will never learn. It is a gorgeous, stupendously sunny and beautiful day here in Seattle. My building is really close to the water and so this is one of my favorite places to come. There's like this little mini park. I wanted to do a video today talking about work and workflow and writing, and, but we're not gonna talk about that today. Instead, I'm gonna spend just a minute um, and I wanna use this channel, this platform, my, my online presence to talk about something that's really important. Today, uh, a friend of mine, a colleague of mine, had something uh, horrible written on there, something racist uh, and horrible, and I, I'm not gonna dignify it um, by talking about it really any further. And a whole bunch of us are just like super upset. I'm just, I'm really pissed off about it. This isn't really my story to tell, but uh, just suffice to say that um, I have so much deep, amazing respect for this person, and uh, I am just so sorry they have to go through dealing with this and, and feeling threatened by this. Right, the odds are this is probably some kid who thought they were funny. It's not funny, it's not okay, it's not cute, it's not clever. Um, it's scary. It's scary to have somebody threaten you like this um, just because you're a person who's not white working at the, a campus. It's not okay. They're ducks. Go away. I don't have any food, go away. <laughs> ducks interrupted my monologue. <laughs> so I would much rather be talking about, you know, my own personal silly struggles with productivity and work, um, but those are pretty privileged problems to have. Um, I'm very fortunate that that's the biggest problem that I had today. A academia is hard. This is a hard job. I work really hard to get here. All my friends and colleagues work tremendously hard to be here. I have a really great job and there was always a path that I was supported on and taking. I worked hard to be here, but there was never a question. There was nobody, nobody ever saying like I didn't belong here, that I would be the only person like me or something. Having to deal with racism and sexism and ableism, um, our, our profession that I belong to and I've devoted a lot of my life to has not always done amazingly well at taking care of people, at hiring people of color, supporting disabled people, supporting uh, native people, first generation people in college. Um, there's a lot of people who have a really hard time getting here or have no access to these kinds of resources, or have no community to support them. There, there, was, a there was a really great tweet series about this uh, yesterday, I think. When we talk about diversity in science and in academia, in any field, you know, often people talk about it as if, like, to make science better, we need to make it more diverse. And that's, that shouldn't be, that's not the, that's not the goal. And it, it's, it may be a subtle point, but it's an important point that it's, that's not the goal. The goal is to make science a better place for people to exist. It's to make this a workplace that is not full of racism and ableism and sexism and all these other horrible things that we have uh, been guilty of in the past in this field and, let's be clear, still are to this day. We have so much work to do. Science is a human endeavor and if we're treating people bad, then we're not doing good science. For the very real reason that if it's not a good place to work, if this is not a safe place, if people don't feel like they can come to work and grade papers and teach students, um, then we're not doing good science. This is just a bad place to work. Academia can feel like a, like a safe, uh, protected bubble from these problems, but it's not. And I, I urge you, look around, watch out, make sure that the young people, that the, um, the vulnerable people in our, in our lives and in our profession aren't taking advantage of. I am not, I am not the ideal ambassador for this message. Uh, but because I have this channel and the presence on the internet of some fashion, I feel like how can I not just say something? That's all I got today.